United States expresses confidence in Governor Saludo's ability to transform Anambra. Anambra government refused social media report of $2 million investment in Sabnila. Nigerian Army taxed of fulfilling constitutional mandates. Many people feared dead as explosion rose Kabul Mosque in Afghanistan. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround the maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast News on EBS Television. My name is Priska Wanko. The Governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukuma Saludo, has hosted the Kato State Governor, Dr. Kaede Faemi, and his entourage at the Governor's Lodge, Amobia. Dr. Faemi of Ekito State is the chairman, Nigeria Governor's Forum, NGF. ABS Government House correspondent Valentine but have filed in the story. Governor Faemi, warmly received by Governor Saludo, was in Anambra on a courtesy call. Speaking on the purpose of his visit, Dr. Fayemi stated that he has been monitoring the activities of Anambra State but decided to visit, having had a long standing relationship with Professor Saludo. Dr. Fayemi, who was a former minister for solid minerals, said that his relationship with Governor Saludo surpasses politics, having come from a strong tradition of academia and expressed belief that he would do an excellent job in Anambra State. Dr. Fayemi noted that Nigeria and other leaders have benefited greatly from Governor Saludo's wise counsel and expertise, maintaining that the peace, security, and economic prosperity will return to Anambra State under his watch. So I've been monitoring from afar all that has been going on here. I monitored the retreat. I monitored his visits to the various uh, uh, projects to also the clearing uh, of the refuse. Uh, don't I, kind of know what has been going on. But I've also known what has been going on in Anambra before him. And I think we could say that Anambra has been ready to be lawful with a succession of really focused, generally decent and uh, progressive governance. Uh, my brother is an icing on the cake. Welcoming Governor Faemi, Governor Soludo stated that Anambra and Ekiti State share something in common, which is human capital. The governor thanked him for his visit and commended Dr. Faemi for the quality leadership he provides at the Nigeria Governors Forum, expressing hope that a formidable synergy among leaders will help in building a great future for the country. He noted that beyond political affiliation, leaders and progressives in Nigeria and at all levels should continue to work together to move the country forward. I do not follow the transformation he was doing then. Uh, before he had to go back to complete the, um, the matters arising <laughs> from the first time. And he's done that, uh, I mean, excellently well. And not only that in equity, but also providing selling leadership uh, to the Nigerian Governors Forum. And we're deeply, deeply grateful. I want to put on record and thank you immensely, particularly. Uh, for your keen interest. Uh, keen interest, even while we were uh, contesting and uh, the goodwill, the exchange of ideas on season, and then after the election. The Chief of Staff to the Governor of Anambra State, Mayor Ernest Ezajui, the Commissioner for Budgets and Economic Planning, Mrs. Chiamaka Nake, among other principal officers, we are present at the visit. From the Governor's Lodge, Amobia, Valentine Badawa reporting for ABS News. The above news trending online in some social media handles, alleging that Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Saludo announced on 29th of April that a $20 million, which former Governor of Anambra State Mr. Pito be invested on behalf of Anambra State in Sub Miller Group, is now worth $100 million. According to a press release signed by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Christian Aburimi, the writer for the claim that from 29th of April, Anambra State now owns the highest share in the global company. Mr. Aburimi said the press release is to notify the public that a statement allegedly credited to Professor Saludo is completely false and that the Governor never made or issued any statement to that effect. 
the release said that the news is untrue and should be completely disregarded. Nigeria Union of Journalists and UJ Edinburgh State Council has held her Median Media Executive Summit at the NUJ Complex Godwin Ezemo International Press Center Oka. Staff reporter Njideka Okoye was at the program reports that a first of its kind summit with a the theme Objective Reporting and Unionism in a Digital Era was well attended by media executives from different media establishments in Anambra State. Her reports. Addressing the summit, the Anambra State Governor, Professor Chukuma Soludo, said that partnering with the media is very essential in achieving the kind of creative disruption he is bringing to Anambra. Governor Soludo, represented by the Anambra Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment, Sapo Omosu, noted that the theme of the summit is relevant as it anchors on what the present administration wants to do in running a prosperous and smart mega state. Our governor is a friend of the man. Why? Because he recognizes the fact that the kind of destructive changes he wants to occur in this administration cannot happen without partnership of him. Speaking, the national president of NUJ, Chief Chris Isiguzo, commended the initiative, which he said was unique, as it was the first time of such a summit across the 36 states of the Federation, believing that such a summit would be organized for frontliners, managers, union leaders, and others. Chief Isiguzo recognized the role of objectivity in a report, stressing the need for journalists to verify their reports based on truth, as fake reports can cause security challenges, communal and religious crisis, and can turn the country upside down. Chief Isiguzo appealed to the governor to confirm the position of the acting managing director of ABS, Mr. Gabor Baleze, as the substantive managing director of ABS. But let's bear in mind that it's important that whatever we give out must be verifiable, it must be proved. That is the only way we will maintain our unique Contributing, the media press secretary to Governor Soludo, Comrade Christian Aburime, noted that Governor Soludo holds journalists in the highest esteem, adding that no true government will survive without the media, reminding journalists that what defines them is their ability to report objectively. The government holds every person, journalist, in the highest esteem and is ready to work with all of you. Because no government can survive without the support of the media. That is the fact. In his remarks, the chairman of NUJ Anambra State Council, Dr. Odogu Emeka Odogu, who said that one of the key roles of the media is watchdog, noted that the essence of the summit was to call for synergy between media establishments and NUJ, thanking the traditional ruler of Umweri, Igwesa Bennett Emeka, and others who supported the council for the summit and urged the government to partner NUJ, promising the government their total support. On his part, the vice chairman, South Anambra State Traditional Rulers Council, and the traditional ruler of Umweri, who was the royal father of the day, Igwe Emeka, commended Dr. Dogu for his commitment, which he said has yielded positive results, urging the union to fish out fake journalists that are sabotaging their good work. The chairman on the occasion and special advisor media to Mr. Peter Obi, Mr. Valentine Obienyem, who noted the important role journalists play in communication and the dangers they face in this era of modern journalists charged them not to allow the brown envelope to make them debase the essence of journalism and thanked the state NUJ chairman for his efforts. One of the participants at the summit and the general manager of Papando FM, comrade Monique Okechuku, expressed happiness for such a summit, which she said, is essential to enable the union to work effectively and called for training and retraining of journalists. The summit featured talk and discussions on the challenges of journalism, among others. Enoka Njideka Okoye, ABS News. The Radio Television TFR and Outworkers Union Retawo, led by its Vice President, Southeast Region, 
Prince Emeka Kalu paid a courtesy call on the Commissioner for Culture, Entertainment and Tourism, Mr. Don Onyinji. Correspondent Kene Chukuchukudi has details on those reports. Atau Vice President, Southeast Prince Kalo, who was in company of the State Executive of the Union and other key members, in a remark noted that the visit was to identify with the Commissioner on his worthy appointment while seeking ways to support him to see that the Ministry achieves its aims and objectives. Prince Kalo went on to say that Mr. Onyenji, being a broadcaster of repute, a foundational member of the Union in the state, while also holding a national position still in the Union and an event planner of repute, is well disposed to turn the fortune of the Ministry around for greater benefit of Indian Ambra. Yes. While welcoming the union executives and members, the commissioner, Mr. Onyenji, emphasized that giving Governor Chukuma Soludo's disposition towards showcasing and marketing homegrown services, the ministry has positioned itself to make tourist sites in Anambra State attractive to draw visitors and investors alike. He also posited that to ensure healthy living through leisure and entertainment, the ministry will be organizing masquerade festivals and act exhibitions, amongst others, to bring about healthy living. Mr. Onyinji used the opportunity to call on Ndianambra to desist from acts which are taboo and put what the Igbo man stands for in bad light and called on all to join hands together to ensure that Anambra succeeds. I want to commend you guys for keeping the flame on. I believe that that is better now. You're growing. Uh, only you really look at one and more Nigerians. I'm happy with your population. I'm happy with the community here with you among, uh, you know, among you. All the chapters are represented here. So this is a good you know, development. It shows that the union is one and must be one. Good enough, you're also in the information channels, so you'll be able to tell the world what Anambra is doing, what the government is doing, and then if there are things you think government should look into. Some members of the union who spoke during the visit, Mr. Andy Onwalo, who is the state chairman of Ratau, Anambra State, Mrs. Ojima Uguchuku, who is the Arts and Culture Chairman, and Lady Tina Ekenta, the State Secretary of the Union, said that the capacity of the Commissioner to make a difference is not in doubt being a square peg in a square hole, and they are willing to join his efforts to make a difference. And I want to use this opportunity to pledge our utmost support from the Arts and Culture Chapter. It is our duty and it is our job. It, is our, it has always been our prayer that someday we get somebody that understands us. And we believe now is the time that we've got somebody that understands us. Yes. Because um, by virtue of my service, I served in um, Calabar and I served in arts and culture. So I understood what was going in. When I came here, there was nothing like that in the arts and culture. You know? But we thank God that. Um, we're moving in the right direction. The event climaxed with solidarity chant by the union members together with the commissioner. In Oka, it's been Kenechuku Chokodi for EBS News. Anambra State Government says it will shut down parks and markets for flouting the monthly sanitation order beginning from May 2022. The Commissioner for Environment, Mr. Felix Sodimewu, stated this during the April edition of the monthly exercise, said that the Ministry will inject more force into the exercise as a way of ensuring a cleaner state. Correspondent Chibuzo Obidike filed in this report.
According to the commissioner, the state's environment is under threat as a result of offendry attitudes of most residents to their environments. Assure that vigorous transformation is expected to restore a greener Anambra environment, including community participation approach, six hours refuse collection, stronger partnership of refuse collectors from sustainability and ways to wealth approach, among other steps. While asking the people to shun indiscriminate dumping of refuse, Mr. Odimegu revealed that to fight the over 900 erosion sites in the state, residents and real estate developers must imbibe the attitude of tree planting and shun deforestation, saying that the state government is committed in ensuring that every building has more than one tree in it. Every day is I, I get more sanitation. Or that I go every day. And I remember once every month. I don't see the reason why in the number of people know that very moment. Decide the email for their business. But if it may be if it doesn't question the question. Of course, you that time for Pata. So do Nyaka get what's another time, but who need it too much? We keep up with your own duty in your government, Taka, in this regard. I can wear real time enforcement, I go real time monitoring. Only I'm gonna get involved by that time. The machines will be in place. You're the only man, Pata, community based approach. I am here together with everybody to get an umbrella going, and an umbrella must work, and an umbrella must be clean. Amber must be healthy, Amber must be livable, prosperous, prosperous and uh, green. The people who were apprehended during monitoring of the exercise across some parts of the state by the commissioner and his team were made to take part in the exercise. However, they pleaded and ensured that they will participate fully going on forward. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahya, has urged officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army to leverage in the holy season of Ramadan to reflect on the significance of loyalty, obedience and sacrifice, stressing that the season provides a unique opportunity to re-examine and readjust efforts towards fulfilling their constitutional mandates to justify the confidence reposed on them by Nigerians. The Coas who gave the charge by felicitating with the troops on the Edo Alpha Tree celebration specially recognized and appreciated their sacrifices and commitment to various ongoing operations nationwide. He charged field commanders to redouble their efforts and ongoing operations, adding that the best Salah gives you expect from them is to eliminate as many bandits, kidnappers and terrorists as possible and recover as many weapons and ammunition from criminal elements. General Yahaya also paid special tribute to officers and soldiers who paid the ultimate price in the defense of their fatherland and emphasized that under his watch, training and welfare of personnel and their families will continue to receive paramount attention. He admonished officers and soldiers to remain a political and professional in the discharge of their constitutional responsibility at the nation's democracy. A statement signed by the Director of Army Public Relations General Onyema Wachuku said General Yahaya expressed gratitude to President Muhammad Buhari and all Nigerians for their unflinching support to the Nigerian army in the execution of its constitutional mandate while wishing them all a happy Edo El Fitri. Taliban spokesperson for the chief of police, Khalid Zadran, said at least 10 people were killed and 30 wounded at an explosion at a mosque in the Afghan capital, Kabul after Friday prayers. However, eyewitnesses said the fear that many more had died. The blast occurred in Sarahi Aladin area of the city. Emergency, a non-governmental organization that offers free medical and surgical treatment to Afghan civilians, said in a tweet that 20 wounded people had been treated at this hospital following the explosion. Veteran Spanish midfielder David Silva signed a one-year extension with the Liga's Rio Sushi Dead until the end of 2022-2023 season. Silva joined Manchester City after helping Spain win the 2010 World Cup and played a key role in four of the city's Premier League triumphs before switching to Rio Sociedad in 2020. Rio Sociedad won the 2020 Copa del Rey and are currently the sixth in the league table with five games remaining. Remember, you can follow news and program on ABS in many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. 
Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television or okay, follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website www.absradiotv.com. To end the news this morning, a recap of the main points. Governor of Fiamme of Ekita State has expressed confidence in Governor Saludo's ability to transform Annenberg. Annenberg government has a future social media report of $2 million investment in Samila. Nigerian Army has been taxed of fulfilling constitutional mandates. Many people have been feared dead as explosion of Ross Kabul Mosque in Afghanistan. Here is a special message again. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround of maintenance of the Annenberg State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. And that ends the breakfast news on ABS television at this time. Thanks for watching. My name is Priska Honko. Good morning. Coming up on TPI. And there was a 911 call where someone like called and said it was a horrible accident. You know, I don't know whether they made it. And just to hear that, you know, someone looking at what happened to us, they like, I don't know. Well, hello and welcome to TPI. I'm your host. Thank you for joining me today. Now, our goal is always to leave you better than we found you. So please, hang with us for the next half hour, and I promise you, you will be glad that you did. Now, first up, since the COVID-19 pandemic started, that's in 2020, I have not had a guest in the studio. All that changed a few weeks ago when none other and the chart-topping artist, Sensational Bamadili, stopped by and he shared his rise from humble beginnings and what drives his high-energy performances. Here's our conversation. Sensational Bamadili, thank you so much for joining us on TPI. Thank you, thank you. Now, thank you. now it's such a joy to see you. Uh, I first uh, collided, you collided into my world on YouTube because... You're quite a sensation on YouTube. Yeah. So I remember, and, and I'm watching you on YouTube. I'm like, who is this guy? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Only to find out that actually you're a lead worshipper in, in uh, a friend's church, a house yeah. on the rock in yeah. Port Alcott. Yeah. Uh, you're known for your energy.